Hi everyone, I'm going to demonstrate now the uh, failure case for uh, the decimal search method. Uh, let's begin by uh, defining fx. So we've got fx equals, and let's say we have um, some sort of cubic again, and this time we've got two point, say we've got x uh, plus 2.3. We don't want an integer there, uh, because then that would give us a root. Uh, and um, so that would give us an integer root, which is not what we want. And now let's say we've got a repeated root, which is pointed to two decimal places, um, and therefore we won't be able to find this root if we use the uh, decimal search method. So say we've got here we go, and let's uh, let's just zoom in. Let me just move that around. Let's just move that here. Okay. Um, and again, it's probably a good idea to annotate and label this. Change the color to a color that you like. Let's put name and value. What color? Uh, let's do blue. Okay. And here's our function. And say we want to find the fun the root between uh, one and two. Okay. We can clearly see that. Uh, uh, overhead there, there's an interval. Um, and again, we can add some text, uh, may, maybe make it a bit, maybe medium, and just say, uh, we, or, or, there is a root in interval uh, one, two. Okay. And, um, and we obviously have our definition of fx. It's labeled so um, the, we, we know the, uh, um, the expression of this function. Um, now let's do let's carry out a uh, decimal search. So let's call that x, and let's call that f of x, and let's start with um, 1.0 one decimal place, so we'll, we'll select that and move all the way down to 12, and so that, got, that takes us from 1 to 2, and now let's, um, so uh, let's now put in f of a2 and bring that all the way down, okay, so we've got the function, now obviously there's no change of sign. And that's because we're working to one decimal place. We're looking for this root, repeated root that lies in this interval, and there isn't anything. What we can do, maybe just to look at our uh, function inspector, um, let's click on that, and let's choose the interval between 1 and 2. Let's see what sort of information it gives us. Okay, there we go. Uh, and... Um, here, obviously, the root, it tells us to do the two decimal places, 1.56. So there is a root that lies there. So therefore, that has demonstrated that the uh, decimal search method doesn't necessarily work all the time. 